Hi guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and um, I've just completed another section of my blank custom. I'll just move this out of the way a bit. Just got this section done tonight. Um, and I haven't rolled it yet. I've still got some bits sticking up. Okay, so for those that are new to my channel, um, because I've gained quite a few subscribers in the last month. I am working on a blank canvas and creating my own personal picture. Um, I will put in the information tag the how I create custom pictures myself. But this one is... Uh, I've done this 100, 100 centimetres by about 70 centimetres. This one is and has 103 colours. So I'll just give you the details. It's not going to give it there. It's not going to focus on it. I've got too much shine. Here we go. So this is actually a cross stitch pattern, but you're able to convert with the program I use, you can convert it to a diamond painting pattern. Um, so if I bring this up here, looks exactly like a canvas, but um, I always like a challenge. I love my customs. Um, I love artist collaborations and you might find that there's not much in the way on my channel of AliExpress type stuff because I go for, I work on big canvases. And this one is um, a challenge canvas, obviously. Um, okay, so, so far on this one, I will give you a bit more, a bit more on it. I just completed <laughs> this page here. Okay, so this is the grid line for this picture. The, Two outside lines, um, are outside columns, are not being done. So basically I have done 12 pages since, I don't know when I first started this one. Hang on, I'll see if I can find when I first started. Since, oh I didn't put a date on that one. So it would have been the beginning of June, and I'm going to say put 2019 in here just in case. Because <laughs> um, I reckon I'll be doing this next year too. Takes a while. All right, so yeah, as I said, in the information, information box up here somewhere, you will see the um, how I made how I the program I use is in the link to, of this of that video where I record how to create your own custom um, if you want a big challenge you go big if you want to try something smaller try something smaller um, my partner thinks I'm bitten off more than I chew <laughs> more than I can chew but yeah um, for a little bit of uh, stats because I'm a big one on stats all up it'll end up with 70 pages there's 16 squares per page there is um, I worked it out there's 1.792 million drills on this canvas that's what I worked out okay so um, the other thing I did with this one was that I upped the amount of colors in there so there is 103 DMC colors so there's a lot of colors in there um, and what I do is with my time lapse you will actually see how many drills I lay down which is always the 1600 drills because I always do it in one sitting um, you will see how many drills how long it took me to do and how many different colors so the one the section that I just completed actually had 75 different colors that's the most cha color changes I've had in one section all right so yeah, tracking everything and what I need to do um, most of them have been around the 40 colors oh no I had one that was 71 colors 
Um, what's that? Page 25. That one goes there. So yeah, it's a big process. It's a big, 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 big job. I will get that one out of the way. So the way I have my, I have the Elizabeth Ward storage containers. Um, the bottom one is what, well actually no, the top two are what I've just used. All of these colours just went into this one section. Yes, you will see it very shortly. Um, and those are the colours that on my DMC chart, on my, on my legend, um, I had, haven't used for that section. But trust me, I have used it. The program that I've used, um, you print out all your details. So that is the picture, lioness and cub. And we were in an open vehicle. Less than 10 metres. I don't know what you guys would pull that in yards or kilometres, okay, uh, yards or miles, but less than 10 metres away in an open vehicle from the, this lioness and cub. Um, the area where we, where we were, there was, I think there's about 20 lions in, were in the surrounding area where we were and very close proximity. <laughs> and there was white lions in there. But what I did do is I stuck the picture and the symbols, um, my legend, um, onto the lid of one of them. And so that when I'm looking, trying to work out where this, where it is in DMC code wise, it just, I can find it. You will see that even with 103 colours, there is one there, avocado green, I only use two of. Very dark blue, violet, 35, lemon, 8. Um, there's some with, you know, dark steel, or dark pewter grey. So there is some big quantities. Um, more colours you use, the bigger you go, the less likely of needing three tens. So there is no three tens in this. There is, what's the other one? Um, uh, the dark blues. The 823, there's no 823. Um, there is three, no, there's no, yeah, hang on. I do have three, um, where is it? 3799. That's the darkest I've got, and there's 10,000 of those drills. And that camera's not focusing. Okay. Let's see if I can get the focus. Oh, bear with me while I go and play with the focus and make my camera pl work properly. And there we go. That's a bit better. Okay, so move that out of the way. And onto the canvas. Oh, I have a, I suppose my, my desk is probably about 14, 1.4 metres wide, long. So I am able to work on big canvases on my desk, which is fantastic. Big pile of drill trays. Pop them away for the next time. Okay. So this is, I will, the great thing about a blank canvas, if the drills don't quite fit, it's okay. But um, the drills in here, so this is a square, the drills in here are initially from leftovers and then I brought what else I needed um, quantity wise. But we now have um, the lioness. The section that just took me four and a half hours is that small section there. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, for the for you guys that are new and you're having a look at this, this is a big project. I mean, I've been working on this. It's been five months I started this, and I probably do one section a month because it's just. I mean, I finished do a section. It's like I've got to do another section next week so I can get my way through it. 
but life gets in the way and other diamond paintings happen but where before I start something go on to like a, a, I tend to tend to do this one in between my normal diamond paintings I suppose is the way to put it um, but yeah I will the next there's a little bit little bit of a clip next coming up where you can actually see what the desk like is like before I pack the drills away and then there will be the time lapse of doing this section and working with all those lovely coloured drills. I hope you enjoy and um, yeah, leave me a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, um, fire away with any questions. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Um, so yeah, I will actually put the link to the playlist for everything that I've done in relation to this canvas so that you can watch the journey if you if you so choose so uh, enjoy it sit back and enjoy talk to you later bye this is what my desk looks like when I've finished a section um, so yeah I thought I'd share that with you before I pack this away um, what you'll see next is the time lapse of getting <laughs> one page done um, as you see, I got the eye done, the ear, yeah, so we're getting there. So uh, next steps is to pack this up and um, you will see just me working and packing up all together. But this is what it looks like. I have so many colours out. But I know I get, I've been asked, how do I remember the colours? It's just... Um, not a pattern, but once I know a symbol, most of the times I know where I've placed it down. I do find that there's always at least two symbols that I just can't remember where I put them. Um, but yeah, these are in their trays because I've used a lot of them. These sit here. I'll lift this up. These sit here like that because I'm only using one or two. I don't see any point in tipping them out in trays. But yeah, um, enjoy the time lapse of me getting this section done. Mm -hmm. 